Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Unreal Cousins Now. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a simple build system in Unreal Engine. So, I'm just going to show you what I'm talking about. So, like, the character walks around here, when they click, a cube will show up in front of them, and then they could build something like click, 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 bunch of cubes. Okay. Uh, so, to get started, go to third person blueprint. I'm using a third person blueprint template uh, from the Unreal Engine, just the standard one and I'm just gonna go to the blueprints and as you can see here this is a third person character so I'm gonna go to the viewport so I can see the character then I'm gonna add a component as a arrow Okay. and then you could just drag the arrow in front of them drag it down a little bit and then while the arrow is selected we're gonna yeah, make a cube and I'm just gonna use I have starter content in here so I'm going to use the glass material whoops not that want yeah this one okay compile that now we're gonna go back to our uh, content area over here and we're gonna right click and create a blueprint class of an actor We'll call it cube. Then we'll open up cube and we'll make a cube by going new component cube. And that's all for this one. Uh, you can close out of that and go to the event graph back on the third person character. And I'm going to make it so that it spawns when I left click. So uh, left mouse. Yeah, this one. And when it's pressed, um, actually, first we're going to get this arrow here, the one we just made. So we're getting the arrow, and now we want to get the location of that arrow because we're going to want the uh, cube to spawn on the location of that arrow. That's why we put it there. So get socket location. And the reason we did it like this is because, like, if the character moves and they're rotating over here, then the arrow will move with them. So then the arrow is a little bit in front of them. Um, so again, we're getting the socket location, and then we also want to get socket rotation. Unless you don't want the cubes to go at different rotations. And then we're going to make transform, which is combining, see this one right here is a vector which just has the x, y, and z coordinates. And then this one is just the rotation, so we're combining them into one um, one unit, and then we're going to, because that's what the spawn actor um, uses anyway, it uses a transform. So we're going to spawn actor from class, and we're going to use this location, the location of the rotation and location of this arrow here. And then we're going to select the class cube, the one we just made. And now, if we compile and save this, we should see a cube spawn yeah see now if I walk over here I can make a cube spawn right there make one spawn right there spawn and I just walking building cubes so yeah that's how it would be done I hope you enjoyed this video uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and all that stuff and I'll see you in the next video bye bye